Here's how I set up car audio indoors. It may sound confusing since you can't just plug in your car amps into the wall, but it's really not too hard once you get it. So the way that I power my car audio amps is I actually use a PC power supply. There are a ton of other power supplies you could use and different batteries you can use to power the amp, but I already had these PC power supplies lying around and they have been working fine for a while. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna prep all the wires on the PC power supply because a car amp needs a voltage of 12 volts and not every wire on a PC power power supply outputs 12 volts. So if your power supply has wires that have different colors, then it's going to be pretty easy. But if your power supply has wires that are fully black, like mine did, then you're going to want to look up a diagram that shows what each and every wire actually does. And the wires that we actually need are the yellow wires, the black wires, and the single green wire. So the yellow wires is our 12 volt positive, the black wire is our 12 volt negative, and the green wire is actually our turn on wire. This wire is what turns on our power supply. And if you're looking at a diagram, for your power supply, it should tell you which wires are yellow, which wires are black, and which wire is the green one. So you shouldn't have to worry if your wires aren't color coded. And now once you have all the yellow, all the black, and the green wires cut, you want to connect all the yellow wires together and all the black wires together. And now you should be left with your positive, your negative, and that green wire. And that green wire needs to connect to your negative because that's how your power supply turns on. And now it's ready to connect to your amp. I would recommend getting a fuse just so your amp is protected and so nothing goes wrong. And now you're car audio amp should be powered indoors. Before I knew how to do any of this, I had to do a ton of researching and I watched tons of different videos just so I can understand how to actually use a PC power supply because I was really trying to get some good power to my sub and not a lot of people explained it too well or I was just still left with a lot of questions, but I try to make this as easy as possible for you guys. But if you guys still have any questions, you can leave it down below in the comments. And as you guys see, there's no lights turned on on my amp. And if I go ahead and turn on these power supplies, Y'all can see that the amp powers up to life. Hopefully this video helped you guys out. If it did, or if you just enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe and smash that like button. I appreciate y'all for watching and I'll see y'all in the next video.